that is indescribable it's unbelievable it's it's a dream come true it's you know probably one of the best days of my life so far I've not even got to the games yet yeah. and uh, also yeah. continuing a, a family legacy I believe as well both um, the parents well, yes both, went to the both my parents uh, went to the Olympics represented Great Britain and uh, actually my uncle did in track cycling and my grandfather did back in 1948 for the 3,000 metre steeplechase big boots to I know it's pretty daunting um, um, it only happens once every four years you know I've been working for seven years now to get here and it's all down to effectively two times seven seconds um, in qualification and to hopefully get myself into into the finals um, I know I could, I'm going there with tricks that are going to allow me to get into the finals um, and aerials is such a high risk sport that as soon as you get into finals it's not that someone is obviously there is someone who is the best but everyone can perform and everyone can put it down and everyone has to put it down on the day yeah i had a I had a yeah pretty big setback um this summer i was training it was just a normal training day and i caught an edge on the water ramp facility that i was training on which is a dry ski slope ramp into a massive pool and I caught an edge at the wrong time and it made my ski go off to the side a bit, put me out off balance, out of control, and I hit my head on the back of the ramp and knocked myself out immediately. Um, I was then flown to hospital and put into an induced coma for a day. Um, and yeah, it was, uh, that was, that was very scary because um, I didn't know if I was going to be able to compete again, let alone ski again. Yeah, yeah, there, there's the, but I think it's the same for every athlete. You, you, fear is a massive thing in aer in aerial skiing. It's effectively the one like one of the biggest parts of the competition of getting over that and being able to perform underneath underneath the, under the pressure and in such a yeah dangerous situation. Yeah. Um, in terms of the field, it'll be. I think it's huge. I mean, you we you look at. British winter sports these days and it's a, it's completely different to four years ago it's completely and it's almost yeah, unrecognisable if you look at eight years ago um, and I know there's athletes out there there's, well no not them but <laughs> there's, there's athletes pictured around this room yeah. and that are coming to the games that have been competing amazingly at World Cup they've been putting it down week in week out and I think we've got we've we've got a great we've got a great chance of adding to that medal tally.